And I think, yeah, I was at the speedrun panel for a bit. And that was actually when, just briefly, that I saw Proton John. Like, he he was just walking around, and he was looking at it, and then he just walked away. Like, he, I think he had to go somewhere. I mean, I didn't want to bother him because it was because I was watching. Oh god, what is that? Oh, is this actually a... This is actually going to be a boss fight. Oh, thank goodness, a boss fight. Oh, this is... This actually looks uh, electrifying. This is a Kalavinka Striker. It is... It absorbs electric attacks, delivers devastating physical, susceptible to slow and curse. I still don't know what that word means, but at least we know a weakness, and it looks like it's fire. Oh no. It doesn't actually have a weakness, so we're just going to have to go with what we got here and stagger him. Blizzard! They could have had computers at the game room too, like... Just a set of like 12 computers and people can play either like Fortnite or Overwatch or World of Warcraft or League of Legends. I was gonna say, what is that top-down Blizzard game that's League of Legends? <laughs> yeah, this guy looks weak as fuck. Oh yeah, look how much we're doing to him. We're just, we're so strong. Oh no, wait. It looks like it's not dead yet, but we did beat it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's got an alien face going on. Oh, but there's, there's more. That's why. Oh, it's not attacking us. There they are. We made it. <coughs> we finally made it together. Yeah, it's got like some sort of alien face going on on the butt. And we have to find another one. Lovely. I guess I'll have to use Libra again just to force it to make it his weakness. But it looks, it looks like it's a bit more aggressive than the last one. But that's okay though for John, like... If he had to do something, he had to do something. I'm not there to, like, bother him. And I'm trying so hard not to be so serious about it. It just is what it is. And I still had fun. Because after that speedrun panel, I actually went over to... There was actually another speedrunning panel that was happening with Masayanella against Va uh, Family Jewels on a Super Mario 64 speedrun. <laughs> because, like... They were actually saying it at the panel, too, like... They're just doing this speed run for fun. Like, um, Family Jules's go-to speed run that he plays, either casually or what he did back then, was Banjo Kazooie 100%.
I think I think it's 100 percent. I don't know. But the one that Miss Sayanella does just for fun is Super Mario 64, and they did like a 16 star speed run Thanks. with Adrian there as well. <laughs> it, it looked a lot of fun too. I should have been there the whole way. In fact, I would have loved to join on a 16 star speed run. Like, I can definitely do that backwards long jumping technique. Oh my god, that, that Hellstorm strike is so powerful. At, at least we're surviving. <laughs> See, the thing is, like, Hope is trying to cure so much that he keeps putting up a Hellstorm strike as soon as we get, like, full health. And now we get to the business. So look, he's gonna put up another strike here in a sec. Yep. Oh no, Hellstorm Bolt. And that almost killed Hope. So now he has to heal himself. At least we're doing it. There we go. Another job well done. Yay! We did it! So now the gang's all here. Touch the booby. Oh, he, he definitely did see the mark there. Oh. So it actually wasn't getting any worse. Oh my goodness. There's more of them? Whoa. Wait, we're actually gonna catch that thing? So wait, that thing is a fucking fishing rod? Oh my god. That's a good girl. <laughs> All right. Let's get on. We're going to actually use that thing to get to the the home base. Oh, but we're being spied on. Oh boy. We were being spied on. Ah, that must have been such an onslaught. Believe in Lady Luck now? Yeah. Lady Bad Luck. Oh. <laughs> Time to purge a Primark. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Why does Saz have to take the bad seat? Well, that was quick of a cutscene. But I also believe that if we stuck together, somehow we could change our fate. Yeah. 
Ugh. This looks dank. And mazy. Oh god. I don't think I like the looks of this. Like, we should be there by now. Dysleys through there. Dysleys? We're still gonna have our talk. So let's survive this first, yeah? Right. Excuse me. Dang, look at us. The gang's all here. So now we can finally change our team formation. You can change the composition of your battle team by pressing triangle to open the main menu and then selecting paradigms. Within the paradigms menu, select battle team and you'll be able to choose the battle's team leader and its members. Changing the members of your battle team will reset the party's paradigm ch uh, deck. Select customize, yeah, 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 yeah. So that means finally we can play whoever we want without having to split up ever again. So let's see what we can do. Actually, I think with my uh, upgraded, or I think with all the new material I just got, let me see how much I can upgrade. Okay. Nope. Yeah. It's gonna have to be the weapon again. Oh, and it's it's actually so close too. I'm gonna have to buy something in in order to upgrade it. Here, let's see. I think it's through Lenora's garage. Yeah. Actually, I don't think that was too much. <laughs> no, that was actually enough. Level 25 Gladius. It's got so much strength. Alright, so now we're ready for the next portion. I just hope that... Like, it's getting to the next step to doing whatever I want in the game now. Like, you remember how long it took for Final Fantasy X, like... To the point where we can just go everywhere. You know how long that took. Alright. These look like these are the more advanced looking Psycom soldiers. Hey! Mana Drive Cura. Oh, did it just waste a bunch of magic just to kill that guy? Hey, yes, I did. I guess I did. I didn't really buy much. Yeah, I didn't even need to buy much at... Like, on Sunday. At the marketplace, either. Like... All I bought was, like, one plushie and six games. And thankfully, too, like... Like, thankfully... Most of it was at, like, cheap price. Like, all the games I bought at the marketplace were no more than, like, 30 bucks. They were all just, like, either 20 to 25 bucks. And the amount of money I took out of the ATM was the exact amount that I spent on the games. Oh dear, that was a fucking bazooka. 
Oh, hi. Wait, did it just... Oh, God. <laughs> Get up. Oh, God. We're uh, gonna have to do this here for a second. Better not fucking kill me in the process. <laughs> as soon as it's staggered too, we're gonna have to go at it. But yeah, I only just went through a bunch of panels, like the uh, speedrunning panel, went to another speedrunning panel, and then I think after that, I think the last thing that I had to do was go to the casual drawing panel with the... Uh, I think her name goes by Ocean and Messianella. And that was to top it off. Actually, that wasn't the last thing to top off the weekend, though. Like, we all said our goodbyes and everything. I. It was a little bit sad to leave them again. Like. I always love seeing them every year. It just really felt like I was close to home. To be honest. Like I was with my people. But we had to go as soon as possible after that panel. Like Amanda had to Amanda had to go home and stuff. But, to top it off of that weekend, actually, as soon as I got home, they were actually doing a movie night, or some movie night. And, what it actually ended up with was, like, it was, a, it was the first episode of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. And then the first episode, it had to be the first episode of the Legend of Zelda cartoon. And then it went over to a Donkey Kong Country TV show straight to VHS movie. Well, I think back in the day, cartoons just went straight to VHS. Oh my god. Did, I, I just realized this pattern here, right? What the heck? Wait, are there actually female soldiers? They're called Huntresses. What the heck? There's actually female Psycom soldiers. <laughs> I'm probably feeling a bit sexist here. Like, did you really think an enemy team was just all males? <laughs> I never knew that. I never knew there were female enemies. Well, besides the besides the female villains that we've been seeing through cutscenes. Oh my god. Jesus. I think we have to kill that fucking bazooka guy first. Goes by Psycom Destroyer. Yeah. Actually. It, it may be that time, too. I'm gonna have to... Actually, no, I'm... I'm fully healed. It's just them they have to take care of. Ugh. Now you're done. It really is getting around that time where it's just so hard. Like, what are they even leveled up to? Really? Level 22? That doesn't feel that very long. Unless I'm just thinking, like, Pokemon rules. 
Like level 22, it makes you feel like you've beaten the first gym in the game. But no, as I was saying, like the movie night hit, it, it just went to like a Mario episode to a Zelda episode, and then the rest of the night was just Donkey Kong Country content. Because it's because like we actually watched an hour and a half of a Donkey Kong Country VHS special, which was really just a collaboration of five episodes in one. I don't know if they still do that these days, but it was actually so much fun, like... I've actually been thanks to that sub-movie night, I've actually been watching a couple of episodes. <laughs> like, I didn't know the script for that show was so fucking good, like... It was actually, like, so hilarious and so savage at the same time, like... It went from like, ooh, got him, to like, oh my god, they actually went there? They actually went there in a kid's show. It's like how that one character in that show, his name was called Captain Scurvy. I think it was, I think it was a common enemy in the Donkey Kong Country games. He actually said the word hell in that show and people flipped out about that. <laughs> Through the flames and hell and stuff like that. It was pretty hilarious. I may have to actually like... Hmm. I'm gonna have to like double check here. I mean, do they at least respawn? Oh yeah, I'm gonna, gonna have to actually get all these items here. I even have like the theme song stuck in my head too like all the songs in that cartoon show was like so fucking catchy it's like they would have it they would have just like made their own fucking playlist it was so good <laughs> I say that now when, like, Captain Scurvy said the word hell in that show, and then it made me realize that they said the word hell again in Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> it was just so, like... It was just like, oh, by the way, guys, like, it's probably a common thing to say in Nintendo. And now they have all this, like, rated M stuff going around through Nintendo like Bayonetta. They they even put a fucking Leisure Suit Larry game in a Nintendo console. Out of all things. Like you know they've put through a lot. In fact they, they've probably went through so much of a library already. Ugh. I'm actually looking around here. There's not an item there. But there is one... Over that way. Which I'm gonna have to go through. With these guys. Sadly... It's just the bazooka guys are so naughty. Like, I'm gonna have to kill those guys first. And it's actually getting so warm in here. What? Why? Why? Why is it so warm in here still? I'm like cooking in here. <laughs> you can even hear the button mashing in the controller. It's not a button mashing game, guys. Come on. This game is definitely better than this, or this game is definitely better than you think. The music's actually fucking good. I mean, at least I think the main battle music is. 
I have yet to listen to the other ones. But the music is good. The visuals are pretty amazing, even in the high definition cutscenes. And the the battling or like the the automated battle mechanics in this game are actually probably just as good as any other Final Fantasy game. People also thought like this was way different than it used to be back in like 7. They always compare to fucking 7. Like they think Final Fantasy 7 is the most superior one. I'm pretty sure 7 also has flaws. And you guys are already complaining about it now. The one flaw is that it's delaying so much for its remaster. <laughs> you guys are so impatient. <laughs> 